Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I want to praise the Most High Yah. All glory goes to the Most High Yah for giving me understanding. Man, I'm out here fixing, uh, pretty much fix this doggone uh, garage door. So what was happening was the garage door uh, wouldn't open and shut. And I've never worked on uh, garage doors, but man, I can build engines. I can work on small engines. I can rebuild transmission, replace uh, uh, electrical outlets. So what I noticed was uh, we got the sensors fixed so where you got that green light and if your garage won't open chances are you got a red light on there and uh one of them wires could have come undone so when we uh let's see see this right here when we moved in this house sometimes these wires that are ran from the wall are uh undone and they splice them together i need to put some electrical tape on that but that green light is what you want and you have to line them up but uh what we got here is a uh, a very poorly hung uh, Genie garage door system. Doesn't really have any heavy bracing. Uh, and I'm guessing what they did was the cheap route of just using that thin gauge uh, aluminum or steel, finding a stud, anchoring it in there, and using the little metal hangers right there uh, to do it. And if I had to do this, I wouldn't do it because this garage door has a lot of flex in it. More flex than you want. You want it to have a little bit of give, but not enough. So what it was doing was uh, these wires over time, you see that when it's spliced, when they put this together, it's like they didn't run uh, solid cables and the cables had came apart. So I had dangling cables like, like this one right here. Uh, today I was able to reattach the centers reattach the sensors so that when the actual garage mechanism right here pushes this little uh that little sensor right there back it makes contact and sends a signal for it to stop power and then on the other end let me show you this it's got another one let me get my light man this is the leftover wire i had but uh praise to the most high yah man because you know i got a drawer uh, full of like electrical stuff, soldering irons, uh, all kind of butt connectors and stuff like that, you know, and uh, this was a, let me tell you something, a spool of wire, some wire cutters, uh, very, let me show you how this thing working right now, but uh, what was happening was it was getting down to the end and binding brrr, like that, so it's going to stop, check it out, see it stop, so right here there is another sensor right there and that's what makes that thing stop and i'm actually gonna adjust it uh, a couple more because if it goes any further than that for some reason it binds up um and that's what that sensor is for to make sure it does not go too far so i'm definitely gonna adjust that and you can see where i had to uh I spliced my wire and uh, rent and made, I had to cut the length of it, cut the length and that's the excess right there. But um, that's good, won't cause us any more problems. Another thing is, uh, a lot of people don't know, you have to run up in there that channel, you gotta run grease in there. And over time, dirt and debris gets up in that channel and that's a, it's pretty much a rod, a metal rod that spins. And if you don't have no grease in there, that thing will bind up. So uh, uh, some good all around, all purpose, automotive grease will do it and uh, you'll be good to go. But you know, if I would have had to replace this or have somebody come out, uh, uh, a cheap handyman is gonna charge a hundred an hour. And then uh, you gotta think, some of these people are not right. So what they're gonna do is say, hey, I gotta go get some parts, get X, Y, and Z. And they're gonna show you something. And because you don't have no understanding, you're going to say, OK, all right, whatever it takes to fix it, that part going to be seventy five dollars. And all actuality, what happened was they went to the doggone truck. 
uh, got this right here, some wire, got these wire cutters and a screwdriver, hooked you back up with some, let me see, I got this electrical tape in my pocket. They hooked you up with this electrical tape and then charged you $225 uh, for the labor to actually do it. $100, and they're gonna spend an hour doing diagnostic. I gotta look up the model type and then coming back and they're gonna see what it is. And they're gonna, they're gonna charge you uh, knowing how to do that. So it's very, it, it, all praise goes to the most high for giving uh, a man understanding on how to do things. We was able to do that and like I said, save money by getting out here laboring with your hand, getting out here figuring some stuff apart. Nobody ever became a, a good technician or a good mechanic by sitting back watching other people do it. At some point, you gotta put your hands to the plow, get out there and actually labor and get it done. Because let me tell you something, if that wouldn't have worked, you know, the next bet was to uh, uh, disconnect the wires that I spliced together and swap them. You know, flip flop the uh, the ends that I put together to make sure uh, because the, if the signal, if the sensors wouldn't have been given a read, uh, the garage wouldn't stop. And that's the sensor right there. So let me shine that light on there so you can get a good look at that thing. And it's pretty much a contact pad. When that lever goes back, that contact pad right. Let's see where we at. That contact pad right there. That little L touches the uh, contact pad and stops it from going. But uh, there you have it right there. Easy fix, man. I'm going to adjust this thing one more time. And you see, uh, before this, my garage would not shut flush. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, adjust it. That way it will shut flush and leave me about an inch, inch and a half up under there. Uh, you know, maybe a little bit more than that because the guineas like to come in the garage and feed on the, on the, uh, any kind of crumbs or goat feed. Like we got all the, uh, animal feed right here. They like to come, you know, so you can see they've been around there eating, but I'm going to get back to it and uh, all praise to the most high y'all get this thing and adjustment and we'll be good to go. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking the gun barrel straight.